okay, so you want to learn to code, but there's like a dozen languages you could learn first. Truthfully, many of them would be a good place to start. However, there are a few languages you should avoid. Today, five programming languages you should avoid in 2020. As you start learning to code, there are loads of people on YouTube, like me, giving you advice. Some say start with Java, others recommend Python. A few recommend C Sharp as a place to start. Well, I don't want to be one of those people. Instead, I'll tell you exactly what languages to avoid in 2020. Let's start with number five. Avoid learning C or C++. C and C++ are great languages, and they're the basis of all the coding languages we frequently use today. However, they're old. When I say old, I mean from the 70s old. Age alone isn't a good reason to avoid learning a language, but C and C++ aren't used much anymore in software development. These languages predate the web and require you to manage the memory used by your apps yourself. While there are some C++ and C jobs out there working on older systems, these are not the languages I'd build my career around. Number four, avoid learning Java. This is one that'll make people want to throw things at me. Java is taught in loads of college computer science courses, and it's an excellent enterprise language. In fact, it's one of the languages that I learned in college. And Java is still frequently used today. In fact, it's the language used to create Android applications. But here's the thing. Java is complex, heavy, and just not a great place to start your coding career. Get some experience under your belt, then come back to Java. But for right now, as someone learning to code, it's one of the languages I'd avoid. Number three, avoid learning Objective-C. Objective-C is a much more contemporary version of the C programming language. And a decade ago, it was all the rage and everyone was learning to code in Objective-C. And now, no one. According to Google Trends, searches for Objective-C peaked in the summer of 2012 and are now only about 20% of what they were. So what happened? Initially, Apple picked Objective-C as the language of iOS development. All the initial iPad and iPhone apps were coded in Objective-C. And then Apple introduced people to Swift, a much easier to grasp and less verbose language. That was all she wrote for Objective-C. It's dead, gone, and not something you should be learning in 2020. Number two. Avoid learning Ruby. A few years ago, the Ruby language and the Ruby on Rails framework were incredibly popular. It seemed everyone was learning Ruby and using Ruby on Rails, and then they weren't. It seems Ruby was the victim of the success and growth of JavaScript. And as more people used popular JavaScript libraries like React, JS, and Angular, they left Ruby behind. Ruby's dead, gone deceased. It's gone to the great galactic bit bucket in the sky. Wish Ruby au revoir and spend your time learning something else. Number one, avoid learning R. This is going to make some data scientists grumble. R is a great language for taking deep dives into data. However, so is Python and that's what the industry seems to have chosen. While R is used in some academic environments, it was designed for statisticians. Unlike Python, R has a steep learning curve. On the other hand, Python is a great beginner's language and one that people can pick up quickly. Plus, Python can be used outside of data analysis. R was very popular for a while, but now people are choosing Python for their data work. So there you go, five languages to avoid in 2020. I'm Mark Lassoff with Framework. If you like this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. We're constantly coming out with new content for people entering the world of development and digital design. Subscribe and hit the little bell so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching.